Good morning and welcome to Grain TV. Today is April 2nd, 2012. To my left is Cody Bills. Cody, obviously Friday was a big report day. We saw quarterly stocks and we saw the planning intentions report here come out. Everyone was really watching for what the overnight trade was going to react to uh, here when we opened up Sunday night. Take a look here at a screen capture taken from the FireTip platform. As you can see, Cody, it was kind of a quiet overnight session. We saw front month corn up four, front month beans up eight. Kind of the interesting story, though, on those new crop deliveries. Take a look here at November 2012 soybeans up 12 on kind of that lackluster uh, acreage number that we saw come out on Friday. Well, what's kind of your take on this? Well, I, I think another thing that we saw on Friday was the commitment of traders report. And yeah. Basically, what you're seeing here is managed money increasing its longs, but not at the same rate that it has been. We only saw 10,000 contracts added on compared to a five-week moving average of over 21,000. 21,000 contracts. Right. So the bottom line here is they did uh, they did add more, but it just wasn't at the same rate. Now, remember, this is a one-week lagging indicator. Uh, we should see the big report day reflected in next week's report. Right. I think that we're going to see this thing spike even higher, but I guess my concern here is that anytime you get, I guess it's the contrarian in me, uh, anytime you get everyone on one side of the boat, it, it makes me a little nervous. Yeah, absolutely. You know, with, with this huge net long there, I think right now the ratio of longs to short is around 22 right now for managed money. So, you know, when the when the uh, appeal runs out of soybeans, they could become big sellers uh, in this market here. Absolutely. Uh, another thing to keep an eye on here is that as we roll through planting season is uh, kind of soil temps here. Take a look at this map provided by our friends over at Planalytics. Now, the two things to really note on here, this blue line is where we saw 55 degree soil temperatures in 2011. This is in sharp contrast to the red line here. This is the 55 degree soil temperatures in 2012. We're hearing reports that in areas of Illinois and Indiana, we have corn emerging. And kind of the, uh, the big thing to keep an eye on here is that the vast majority of area above this blue line has an average freeze date of around May 1st. So more than likely, we are going to see a spring freeze in these areas. That's certainly not going to help out uh, uh, this developing corn crop. You know, I don't think we're going to see $8 corn as a result of it, but it's certainly not going to help yields on this uh, this very large crop we're looking to put in the ground here. And, of course, this is, uh, this is very relevant because later today we do get the uh, very first planting uh, progress report, right. and, and, uh, and it's going to be interesting to see how, many, uh, how, how much corn we actually have in the ground. Right. My concern here as we move throughout this planting season is that if we get a lot of corn in the ground early, then we have a significant risk that that corn is destroyed and has to be replanted by a, uh, by a, just a typical frost, right. not even a, a late frost. Certainly. Well, we'll keep you posted here on Grain TV. At Grain TV is where you can find us on Twitter. We'll be uh, tweeting once that crop progress report comes out this afternoon. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll come back and watch the markets trade live. Grain Hedge is more than just futures trading. Clients receive our cash grain optimizer showing spot and forward bids within 200 miles of your farm. We take into account your trucking costs to find your best selling opportunity. We provide in-depth basis mapping, historical basis and cash price charting. Every day we show you your best price and if it meets your profit goals. Contact Grain Hedge today to get started. And welcome back to Grain TV. The markets are open in Chicago. Let's hop onto the Fire Tip platform here and see how the trades are acting here Monday morning after that big uh, report we saw come out on Friday. As you can see here, old crop corn up six and a quarter. Uh, new crop corn kind of lagging to the downside here after that big acreage number we saw come out. Uh, old crop beans up 25. New crop beans leading to the upside on a, on a really a bean acreage figure that missed the mark uh, as far as what a lot of analysts were looking for. What's kind of your take here uh, on this action we're seeing? Yeah, I'm going to take a look at actually old crop corn. I'm going to yeah. take a look at the December contract. I just want to show you the difference between the way these have traded in the last uh, well six months or so. Right. Uh, look at them. This is a May candlestick daily chart. So what you're seeing here is uh, is a range that we've been trading in and of course right now we're approaching the high side of that range for that old crop corn. Right. Now take a look at the new crop and just notice the relative weakness of that new crop corn contract. It's almost a descending triangle. You know, Technically it's not uh, but you can just see that, that the highs you're just unable to, to push higher and of course then we drop down lower. 
take, well, I'm just going to zoom in here. Notice this is going to be a resistance level, and it has been acting as a resistance level today. Oh. 540, uh, I think, is going to play an important role here. Uh, I think it was, br it was lifted up by that stocks number, but I think it, as people kind of settle down on that, I think it's going to be pounded down by that 95.9 million acres of corn that will be planted here this spring. Yeah, yeah, Cody, I'm, I'm right there with you. You know, I think 540 is, if, if it's a profitable area for a lot of guys on that new crop, new crop contract, I think it might be prudent here to make some sales, especially if this thing keeps drifting higher here. We're not seeing it in today's action. But over the next uh, couple weeks or a month or two, as we move through planting season, if we approach that 560, that 100-day moving average, I'd be looking to sell a little bit. Certainly not selling the farm, but uh, taking some of that downside risk off the table. I, I think I'd even, even be a little bit more aggressive here yeah. because I'm looking at the weather going into this planting uh, season, and I'm saying, wow, we have a lot of really good weather. You yeah. know, like you mentioned earlier, we got 55 degree soil temperatures throughout much of the growing region. You know, we're going to get a lot of corn into the ground early. You know, it's not like we had uh, the situation last year where it was wet and it was cold. And you couldn't get it in the ground. Right, right. We didn't know if we'd have the crop. I right. just think that there's just so much here that's going to be pressuring this to the downside. I think uh, last Friday was a gift. You should take it. And, uh, and perhaps you should be getting on the phone and maybe pricing some of that new crop corn here because I think 540 looks pretty good when you, when you look at 90, 95.9 million acres. I just don't think everyone can get a 540 price. Right, right. I'm right there with you. The, the trend is down here on that new crop. I totally agree with you there. One, one area where the trend is definitely up is that uh, new crop bean, new crop corn ratio. Let's take a look at that thing. Absolutely exploding here after yeah. Friday's report. Yeah, no, I, I agree. This thing is absolutely exploding, but you know, no matter how much it explodes right now, I mean, at some point it would drop more uh, acres in the soybeans, right, right. But, but I don't think that it's exploding enough to draw enough acres out of corn and into soybeans. I think that right now, economically, uh, it's, it's going to be difficult to do that. I think the only thing that can do it is, is seriously, um, well, disappointing weather in the spring planting. We right. don't seem to be seeing that. So that, that doesn't really seem to be on the horizon here yeah. anytime right. soon. You know, uh, coming out this afternoon will be crop progress report. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Grain TV is where you can find us. We'll be tweeting as that report comes out this afternoon. I think that wraps up our show here for Monday morning. Have a great rest of your day.